Here we are at Brady Street Stadium, waiting the opening kickoff from the Burlington Greyhounds. Going to kick it deep to Tampa Assumption. <clears throat> Assumption comes in with a record of 1 0. Came away with a 47 7 victory against Clinton last weekend. Assumption Knights had uh, four passing touchdowns. Last year they were more uh, prolific with the run game with Zach Mumby being the leading rusher last season. And now this year, start our first game of the season with four passing touchdowns. Last week, uh, Burlington lost 49 3 at home against Danport Central. The team we saw last week, real good quality team. Should be a team that's in the top half of the MAC conference. So they're going to have another real tough test here this uh, second week of the season as they travel to uh, Brady Street Stadium to take on the Danport Assumption Knights. Kicking off Derek Wiley's, also the leading receiver for Burlington. He had nine receptions for 112 yards last weekend. That one's kicked. We feel around the 10 yard line. That's Kilfoy going to get it. Gets out to the 25 30. Oh, he's, got the road. he's at the 40. Cross midfield to 45 40. Knocked out of bounds by the kicker, Wiley's. Tim Kilfoy on the return, and that's the way to start the game for the Assumption Knights. And Assumption's off to a great start already. Number one, Derek Willies made the, made the uh, stop out of bounds. That was a big run by Tim Kilfoy on the return. Nice blocking on the return for Assumption. See if they can't make him pay. <clears throat> Leading rusher Zach Mum had 162 yards last week on 18 carries. Came up with a couple touchdowns. He's number 43 in the backfield. QB Derek Fulton, 6'175 pound uh, senior. Assumption made a mistake. That's going to cost them five. Legal procedure against the Knights. Still just second week of the season. Both teams probably going to make a lot of mistakes, but Coach Wade King's crew is always uh, very disciplined, so it should be should be very few mistakes here from Assumption. Assumption trying to prove to 2-0, and work on some things going into next week's clash against uh, Bettendorf. That game going to be played here at Brady Street Stadium. Another back-to-back -back penalties on Assumption. Not a good start. That's really unusual to see. Both both receivers were they just took off. <laughs> Bradley growth this into the game for Assumption. 11.50 to go. First quarter. This drive set up by Kilfoy on that long kick return to start the game. Kilfoy there in motion. Oh no, oh. that one's loose. This needs to try to get oh, big loss by Derek Fulton. Bad start for Assumption. That's about a 17, six, 17 yard loss. Yeah. At least they've got two more downs to try to pick up the first. They got set up with a real nice field position. The Assumption Knights back on their own side of the field. Well, they got a great kick return, and they're going backwards ever since. All the way back to the 44-yard line. Second down, 37. This is Family Ties Productions at Brady Street Stadium. Assumption in Burlington. That went out to a little screenplay set up. Going to pick up nice yardage here. Going to get real close to the down marker. Going to give you a face mask, and Assumption's going to get a first down. Yes, it is. It's a face mask. <laughs> so after they get a couple penalties and they lose 17 yards on the on the snap, Assumption's going to end up picking up a first down. Gain of 34. Cole Clements on the reception, picked up big yardage there on that second down play. That was a well executed play. Yeah, it was really nice. Again, last week, Assumption came up with four passing touchdowns from quarterback Derek Fulton. We've had a wild start to this game. <laughs> <laughs> had a big return on the kick, a couple penalties, <clears throat> loss of 17 yards on the shotgun snap, and then a big, big 30, excuse me, 30, yeah. 39-yard pickup there in that second and 37 play. They're going to have first and 10 ball just outside the 10-yard line, about the 11 and a half. Fulton with Grothus and Mum in the backfield. Kill for in motion. Grothus is going to get it. Bradley Grothus, the ball carrier. Nice yardage there on that first down dive play.
Assumption again, one last week, 47 to seven against the Clinton squad. Burlington lost 49 to three, so Assumption looks like the favorite. Zach Bum on the carry, he's gonna get in the end zone and 10.30 to go, first quarter. Assumption's on the board. That's our first Jersey Grill touchdown of the night. Jersey Grill, welcome to Jersey Grill, where great food families and sports come together. 5257 Jersey Ridge Road, Davenport. First touchdown for Assumption tonight. Six nothing, off the extra point. It is Grothus. Cole Clements on to attempt the point after. Clements kick, it's up and it's good. 10.30 to go first quarter. Assumption night seven. Burlington Greyhound zero. Okay, while we're waiting, we'll uh, we'll mention our sponsors again. Jersey Grill. Welcome to Jersey Grill, where great food, family, and sports come together. 5257 Jersey Ridge Road, Jeff's Car Corner, 1705 West 4th Street, Davenport. Used cars, credit pre approval, internet specials. The Herod, 118 West Franklin Street, Eldridge, Iowa. 7 0 score. Deep click by Cummins. Drops the ball. Drops the ball. Is out to his five. Good kick coverage from the Knights. Going to get him inside the 10 yard line. That's where Burlington is going to start their first possession. Well, now we get to see Bur uh, Burlington's pass attack. We hear that's pretty much what they do. Yeah, they're. Uh, best rusher is out for the first uh, few weeks of the season. Derek okay. Wiley is their, is their main receiver. He had nine receptions last week. Okay, let me finish off the sponsors. Hair Hud, 118 West Franklin Street, Elder Iowa. Salon and Barber Services, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hand up of the middle. Not much there. Matt Siebold on the carry. Siebold, the ball carrier. Okay, just to finish our sponsors, Precision Air, 2250 East LaCarre Road, Elder Iowa, and Valent with Travis Rolfs. Those are our sponsors for tonight. We're glad to bring you this game. Should be an exciting one. We've already had a wild start to begin with. Yeah, we're just two minutes in the game. We had a real nice kick return from Kilfoy. Kilfoy, the leader on the defense for Assumption. Out there playing safety. See him number 37 right around the 24-yard line. Leader of the defense. That one's pitched out. Taken out by a swarm of Assumption Knights. So it's already going to be a third long here for Bet Burlington. Talbot and Carlin are on the stop. Something. Something. Yeah. Come on. Here, I'm here. Third down and five. Third and five, balls at their own 14, nine, 12 to go in the first quarter. See if Kilfoy can't get an interception. interception. There's a passing situation. He's got his eyes on the quarterback. Oh, he, he was right. real pass close. He passing interference against the assumption defense. Pass is incomplete. Penalty marker on the play. That's going to give Burlington a first down. Yeah, Assumption defense got a little overexcited there in that play. Pass interference against the Knights. Ended up with a pass interference. It's going to be a first down. They're going to keep the drive going. Burlington's going to want to stay competitive tonight. They're going to have to get a strong running game going here in the first half against Assumption. Try to control some of that clock. So I'm just going to put up some points, but if they can keep the ball away from him. Burlington might be able to hang around tonight. And the man in motion. Quarterback finds him in the flat. Nice little pickup there. Damone Manning. Manning on the reception. Get out of here. Patrick Smith. It's Ray Anderson on the stop. Six yard pickup on the play. Three second four balls at their own 35 yard line. Dive play. 
Going to pick up a first down. Nice drive so far from Burlington. Matt Siebel, the ball carrier. I think so far, Burlington has surprised us with that they've mixed it up a little bit, running and Tristan passing. Carlin on the stop. Yeah, QB Hard Sox started out pretty well so far. One for one on his only uh, attempt. And they ran. And that's the way Burlington's going to be able to hang in this game is they can run the ball, try to control some of this clock. I think if they try to pass around against this assumption defense, they might have some problems out there with Kilfoy uh, <laughs> patrolling that free safety zone. <laughs> Another motion. Hands off first man through. Minimal yardage on that play. Siebel the ball carry. Siebel on the carry picks up maybe a yard. Uh, yeah, Matt Carlin and um, I think Bradley Groth is around the Groth is, yep. A lot of gang tackling so far for Assumption. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Number 77, Travis Talbot goes 6'1", 250 pounds, anchoring that center of the defense. Hartsock now on the shotgun. They drop back to pass. Sumption shows blitz. And they're going to take him down for a sack. Quarterback sack, Thunder. Alex Mathis tripped him up. Mathis on the sack. Uh, third and long now for Burlington. Bring up third and 13. Assumption was really quick to attack the line of the ball that time. Yeah, Assumption brought a few guys there in that play. Let's see if Coach King's guys can't force a turnover. It's going to be third and 12 at their own 38. 7.05 to go in the first quarter. Hard Sox going to pitch. Got a man outside, Damone Manning. Bounce to the original line of scrimmage. There's a flag down, probably in the area holding. Yeah. Manning on the carry. It looked like somebody from Burlington reached out and grabbed his shoulder. Some are probably going to decline this one and just take the ball. Obvious punting situation from Burlington. Coach King. Tell those guys to decline it. We got 654 to go. We'll bring up fourth down. Punt team's on for Burlington. LaGrange and Kilfoy deep for the Knights. Kilfoy and LaGrange deep for Assumption. See if they don't try to kick away from Kilfoy. They kick it out of bounds, kick away from both Boy, of them. They're really going to get good field position. It's going to be real nice over Japai on the other side of the 40-yard line. Be right at the 37. That's where Assumption's going to get started in first and 10 with 6.9 right. to go. I think that referee's pretty generous, son. No, he's still going now. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, yeah, too. Yeah, 45. That's a little better. Yeah. Seems like he kicked it straight out of bounds. It's going to be a 14-yard punt. From their own 45. So again, good field position for yeah, Assumption. Was, there was no way it was where he, he originally was going to put the ball. Okay, Assumption back to work offensively. First and 10, balls the 45. And they come out in that shotgun. Kilfoy and Clements, bottom side of the screen. This is mom in motion. He's going to take it on the keeper. Nice yardage from Derek Fulton. Picked up 15. A nice start to the drive. Nice start. On the stop. Gain of 15 and a first down. Uh, let me tell you, the coaching staff for Assumption, Wayne King, assistants, Mark Kazmarek, Brian Vatrubek, Tim O'Neill, Zach Kazmarek, and Jeff Shebler. First and 10 balls at the 40. Mom's going to get the ball. He's around end. Runs over the first tackler, going to get stopped after about a six, seven yard pickup. She has Carmen, the first to hit him. Looking for a moment to have a real solid senior season here for Assumption. 
had a couple touchdowns, 162 yards rushing last weekend. Let's see if he can't top that total against another soft defense here in the second week of the season. Range of motion. Mom, the ball carrier. Minimal yardage by Mom on that dive play. Derek Elmore and Matt Siebold on the stop. No gain on the play. Third down and three. Third and three balls at the Burlington 39. Coaches for Burlington John Flaherty, Joe Bowman, Jim Kreckel. And Mika Olison. Third and three balls is a 39. Three, five, ten to go. Goes deep to Kilfoy. He's found him, oh, and he's going to get in for six from 39 yards out. A Jersey Grill touchdown. Nice uh, pass and catch from Fulton to Tim Kilfoy. That was a nice reception there. Nice, nice route. Nice pass from Fulton, and a nice catch. And result, touchdown for Assumption, 13 to nothing. Clements on for the extra point. Clements on for the extra point, snaps off, holds down. A little high. High snap, but the kick's going to be good with 5.06 to go first quarter. Assumption Knights, 14, Burlington, 0. Five or six to go in the first quarter. Assumption all over Burlington now. 14 up, a nice little drive. Four play drive, took off a minute and 39 seconds. And uh, 55 yards off the field. Nice drive again though from Assumption. Excellent pass from Clements. So far this season we've seen uh, a lot of the <coughs> top teams in the MAC Conference so far in Assumption and Central, PV and North Scott. Haven't seen Bettendorf yet. Actually we saw Muscatine as well, but I think of all those teams, everybody's got a real strong quarterback, so it's going to be real tough to win conference quarterback player of the year, but I'm pretty sure this uh, quarterback Clements is going to give him a run for their money. He's already got five touchdown passes just in a five quarters of play so far in the early season. Heart shock on the handoff to Damone Manning. Loss of four or five on that play. Oh, Assumption. Assumption comes away with the turnover. Jervas on the tackle for the Knights. Jervas forcing the fumble. Assumption comes away with it. They're already set up with excellent field position. Knocking on the door. First and 10 of the 16. That was on that far side of the field. Couldn't really see the ball get loose, but Assumption's going to come away with it. See if they can't pound another touchdown into the end zone. Here we go, first and 10, 4.58 to go in the first. Shotgun formation. <laughs> Fold hands off to Mum. Picks up five, six yards on that first down carry. Brought down by Chance Carmen. Something looks pretty strong at this point, don't they? Yeah, just not even a full quarter in. We, <clears throat> we've seen four of the top five teams in the area. What do you think? Who's got the best offense so far of what you've seen? Yeah, I... You know, it's going to be interesting when they start playing each other. They start playing each other, yeah. The offense, all these teams got great offenses. I guess the best one who's going to play the best defense is going to come away with a lot of wins. And the team with the best defense, most returning starters, would be Bettendorf. Mom in motion. Mom's going to get the handoff. Breaks a tackle. Inside the five. Going to be real close. Down to about the one. Tackled at the one yard line. Assumption looking to get up by three touchdowns here already. In the first quarter, big start for Assumption. First down and goal. 
we might have a running clock. Well, I can't do that until halftime. Yeah. But looks like we're going to have a running clock second half. First man through gets it, and he's into the end zone for six. Another Jersey Grill touchdown. Mathis on the touchdown. Big start for Assumption, 20 to nothing, 4 to go. And Clements on for the extra point. Snaps off, the holds down. Kicks a high one, and it's good, 4 to go. Assumption, 21, and Burlington, 0. Point is good, Assumption, 21, Burlington, 0. One to go. Four one to go in the first quarter. Assumption is all over the road team. Burlington, 21 to nothing. Climate's on for the kick. See if he can't get another deep kick. That one's gonna be a little squib. Manning on the return, picks it up at his own 15. Out to the 20, 25 to the 30. Tries to break a tackle, but he's gonna be taken down at the 34. Spun him around. Well, he picked up some good yardage that time. Now let's see if they can show they have some consistent offense. Let's hope they can just hold on to the ball. That last possession was one playing out on the turnover. Assumption scored three plays First later. Three fifty-three to go. Hartsock looks to pass. Goes deep. Oh, he's, go he's got a man in Wiley's. Nearly oh. comes away with a catch. Passes. Two defenders there, and uh, Assumption almost got another another mistake from Burlington. Derek Willie's on the attempt there. He was all he had a chance. He had two guys on him, but went up. Nearly came away with a reception, incomplete. Nice throw from Hartsock though. He just didn't put enough air under it. Yeah, if you'd have got it a little more air, he probably could have had Wiley's deep for a touchdown. 3.47 to go. Burlington's going to take a timeout. Burlington. 3.47 to go, first quarter, second and 10. Burlington trying to get something going here. In the first quarter, Hartsock finds his man, falls forward for about an eight yard pickup on the pass play. Gates on the reception. That's John Gates on the catch. Five foot eight senior wideout for Burlington. Let's see if Burlington scraps the running and just passes now. Yeah, down 21 up. I won't be surprised yeah. to see him put it up in the air a lot more often. See, see if they open it up. I think early on they were trying to run the ball, keep some of that possession. Keeps more possession away from uh, Assumption and it hasn't worked their way. 21 0 is the score. That's a false start, gonna knock him back five yards. Legal procedure against the Greyhounds. It's gonna be third and six, ball gonna be at their own 38. This is a real, real tough start for Burlington so far. Now, you know, the second and third week. Even though I think we saw that a lot in the first week. Definitely some separation this week. I mean, a lot of teams are going to be 2-0. and A lot of teams are going to be 0-2. Yeah. Probably going to be four teams at 2-0, and four teams at 0-2, and two are going to be 1-1. One PV and Central, the 1-1 one one teams. PV's had two tough games so far in the first two games of the season. That one's intercepted. That is intercepted. Number 21. Patrick Smith. Patrick Smith on the interception. Well, he decided to pass, and that's what happens. Well, that one bounced off of uh, one of his own guy's hands and into the hands of Assumption. Real uh, lucky bounce there. 2.44 to go in the first. Assumption again already with excellent field position at their own 49. And the way they can run the ball 
it wouldn't surprise me if they got another touchdown before the end of the first quarter. Clemens bottom side of the screen, kill Foy in motion. Mom on the carry. Excuse that was Bradley Grothis. Brady Grothis. Bradley Grothis on the carry. Picks up about six yards. Career on the stop. So used to seeing Mom on the carry. He's leading rusher for Assumption. Clements and Kilfoy come off the field. Second down, four yards to go. They're in Burlington territory again. That's from the back side of the defense. We'll see. I think it's offense, offsides. Oh, false start. Legal procedure against yep. the Knights. Sumter's already got four penalties here in the first quarter. They had two on the first two plays. <laughs> and still lead. Yeah, still up 21 nothing. 2.03 to go. They're right at midfield. You wouldn't think so. You get two penalties, a 17 yard loss, and you're ahead 21 to nothing. Usually doesn't work that way. No. I see a long pass here. Second and nine, balls at the 50. Fulton drops back to pass. Looks like he might go to the flag. He's got Clements at the 30. Picks up another Assumption Knight first down. Assumption's picking up big yardage on every play. You know, they have a statistic it's called a yak. You know what a yak is? Yards after catch. There you go. You got that. Yards after catch. That was nice, that, nice, nice uh, pass play from Derek Fulton again. He's a uh, he's showing he's going to have a real strong senior season for Assumption. One twenty to go in the first quarter. Kilfoy going to get the ball. He's Breaks going. the tackle. He's at the twenty. Going to fall forward to the 15. First down. Assumption looks like a mean, lean red machine. Yeah, they look real good. They're going to find out how good they are next week. They got Bettendorf here at Brady Street Stadium. That should be a great one. That should be a real good one. Yeah, both those teams projected to be in the top three or four. Down to a minute to go in the first quarter. Clements on the bottom side of the screen. Fulton drops back to pass. Finds his man. Nearly finds his man, Clements. That's by the pass is incomplete. Well, he evidently expected his receiver to go outside, and he kind of gives it a little curl. Yeah. I got to tell you, assumptions look real impressive here first quarter. Fifth play of the drive. Drive that started at their own 49. Fulton with mum in motion. Passing situation finds Kilfoy in the flat. A little screen set up. He's at the 50. Oh, and by touchdown. Jersey Kilfoy. Touchdown. <laughs> Tim Kilfoy, second. That was a really nice run by Kilfoy. Yeah, that was second uh, reception for a touchdown so far. Sumption already up 27 to nothing in the first quarter of play. That was actually Assumption's longest drive of the game, five plays. They've got four drives, a three play, four play, three play, and that was their fifth play there on the touchdown. Clements on for the extra point. He's a busy kicker. Holds down. Kick is up and good. 28 to nothing with 48 seconds to go in the first. Clements point out. Clements has it teed up. 48 seconds to go in the first. Burlington down now 28 to nothing. Huge start from Assumption. That kicks a deep one. He's going to feel that at his own one. Almost a better letting it fall, but he's going to get a return out to the 24. 
And that's where Burlington's going to start. Flag down on the field. It's against Burlington. Smith and Van Pelt Dunham on the stop. Penalty marker on the play. Holding against the Greyhounds. Not the stop, start coach John Flaherty wanted for his Greyhounds. Team lost last week 49-3 against Central. Now they had to make the trip up to Davenport. Now now 28 to nothing, just the first quarter. Probably gonna be a pretty quick second half. Kill for the deep defender for Assumption. Bringing some pressure. Nice play there in the open field by number 10. Sebo, the ball carrier, brought down by Jake Gervas. Gervas. Twenty seconds to go. See if Burlington just doesn't sit on it. They can run the first quarter clock out. I'm trying to remember. Did we see 28 points the first quarter of the Muscatine North game? No. I think it was 42 nothing at halftime. Uh, that's the end of the first quarter. After one quarter is in the books. First quarter, it's a good one for Assumption. 28 to zero. Okay. Are you on? Twenty-eight to zero. Assumption after one quarter going to be a second and seven. Balls of their own thirteen. First time we've been on this side of the field. Hartsock drops back to pass. Finds his man in the flat. Picks up about five. Going to be a yard or two short of the first. Carmen on the reception. Nice little dump pass there to Carmen. Joe the first to get there. Joe Boy on the tackle and uh, there was nobody. Nobody ahead of him to, to give him some. Bring him third and one. To protect him. After he caught the ball, there's two assumption people there. Third and one, balls of the 19. Under 11 and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Hard sock again in that shotgun formation. Hands off, first man through. Fumble! He, ball's loose. But we got a. Fumble on the play. Was there a penalty? No, it's. Or just a, a thing to mark. Burlington keeps the ball. First down. <clears throat> Second time the ball hit the ground. Something came away with the first one. Twenty-eight zero the score. Probably looking ahead to next week. What game are we doing next weekend? Uh, Moline, Crete Moline. Gonna hop over to the Illinois side of the river for the first time, third week of the season. Going to check out Moline. Crete Moline is a team that knocked out Rock Island last year in the playoffs. State rated opponent. Also going to get a chance to see Deshaun Johnson, the Iowa and now Illinois recruit that plays from Moline. Quarterback on the keeper. Picks up about a yard. If a viewer would like to be a sponsor, how would they do that? You can get a hold of us through www.ftpsports.com. That has all our contact information. Or you can get a hold of me at 309-721-0896. And it looks like we're going to have an official timeout for equipment. Damn, ready to go. Score 28 nothing. 10 15 to go in the second. Burlington putting together a decent driver. They got a first down so far in this possession. Second, second, about eight yards to go. Hartsock looks to pass. Finds his man Manning. Picks up maybe a yard and a half, two yards. Manning on the reception. Good coverage by Assumption once again. They just seem to be everywhere. Yeah, they're playing real stout defense so far. Going to be third and six. Just went under ten minutes to go in the second. Bring up third down and seven. <laughs> Our
Hard sock again. Willie's on the bottom side of the screen. That one throwing over the head of his intended receiver, John Gates. They're going to have to punt it away to Assumption. Bring up fourth down. This might be a tough year for Burlington. Now, now in 28 0, they lost their first game 49 to 3. Kill for the deep man for the Knights. Kilfoy and LaGrange will be back to receive. Kilfoy had that nice return on the on that kickoff to start the game. Kind of got the assumption machine rolling there in that first quarter. Timeout Burlington with 9.22 to go in the first. Timeout Burlington. Nine twenty-two to go. First quarter. Kilfoy and LaGrange deep for the Knights. Kilfoy standing around his own 40. See if Burlington doesn't kick it away from him again. Last time they had a 14 yard punt. That one's kicked to LaGrange. He's going to get it around his own 45. Ball's loose. Assumption's going to come away with it. Covered by the Knights. Penalty marker of the play. We have somebody down here, number for Burlington at about the 26 yard line. Damone Manning, flag on the field. Is that number 19? Uh, Damon Manning? Damone Manning. <laughs> Referees huddling up. Still talking about the penalty. I didn't see what happened. Did you, Brian? Well, on sportsmanlike conduct against Sumption, going to back them up 15 yards. We backed up all the way to their own 22. It's the first time Assumption's going to have to play with a long field. They've been starting around their, on the midfield or even into uh, Burlington territory for majority of their possessions here in this first half. Well, I don't think it's going to bother them, but... At least know. we'll get a chance to see what Assumption can do on offense. Going to see it more in three plays. Or who knows, they might get an 80-yard touchdown. Who's we'll see? Well, we're glad to see the uh, player from Burlington got up uh, on his own and walked off the field. That's always good to see. 28-0. Assumption had 9.14 to go in the second. See if they can't add to this lead here. Got to like what I've seen so far here in the first half from Assumption. They've forced two turnovers and come up with 28 points. Been a real quick strike offense so far. Put some pressure on him. Fulton breaks two tackles. Can't break the third. Going to be taken out for a sack. Fulton keeps it. Mosier on the sack. Mosier on the sack. Burlington had some good pursuit that time. Yeah. So far in the first half, that was probably the least effective play. That uh, Actually, I take that back. They had a 17-yard loss on their first offensive snap. That was a, something that hasn't had too many plays go for a loss here in the first half. Second and 15, balls of their own 17. Fulton again, shotgun formation. Kilfoy on the carry, picks up about five. Herrera in on the stop. Now, the first two weeks of the season, we've seen a lot of good players, but but the show that the runner from Central put on last night for as many times as he carried the ball, 
that was that was pretty impressive. Yeah, Tyvis Smith, he had the ball a lot in that first game. Against, uh, he had four touchdowns against uh, Burlington, and last night he had an excellent game against one of the better defenses in the MAC Conference in PV. And a real solid game, touched the ball about every other time. Clements oh. nearly comes away with a reception. He probably would have been off to the races, but that one's going to fall incomplete, and Assumption's going to have to punt it away. Clements was a step away. He would have got another step on his defender. He'd been gone for six. That's the first time that Burlington has stopped the offense here of Assumption. It's first time tonight they've sputtered. Talbot on for the punt. It's a good one. Nice, nice bounce for Assumption all the way up to 27 or 26. Going to be down all the way to the 23. 24. 53-yard punt from Talbot. He got a nice roll. He got a real nice roll. Wow. Assumption didn't, hasn't scored this quarter. First and 10 Greyhounds from their own 24. Yeah, they're really taking it on the chin here in the second quarter. 28 nothing. Coach Wade King has his team firing on all cylinders here in the first half. Up 28 nothing. Gets the road team Burlington. Hardsock hands off, second man through. Oh, big hole. He's got some room. He's about out to midfield. Nice run by Carmen. Chase Carmen, the ball carrier. That was a very nice run. That was the best play Completely so far from Burlington. Assumptions defense off guard. Out to the 50. This is the best field position so far for Burlington. See if Burlington can't do something with it and get themselves in the ball game. Hard shot again. Shot confirmation. That one's bounced to him. He must have went to his knee to pick it up. Because they're calling it dead. Penalty marker on the play. No flag, he did take a knee, gonna be a loss of a few. Quarterback has his, had his knee down. Sometimes you forget these are still high school kids. I know people out there say, why did he do that? But you know, he, he wanted to pick up the ball and he put his knee down. Hard talk, throws out to his man in the flat. Oh, that could have been backwards. That was going to drop and complete. This is a little bit forward. From our angle, it looked pretty close. It was pretty close. So already Burlington was having a real nice drive, and now they're going to be set up with a third and 12. Bring third and 12. Third and 12 balls, they're on 48, 7.06 to go in the first half. See if Hartsock can't make, get something going here. Try to make something out of this drive here for Burlington. Coaches see something, they yelled at the defense. Goes deep. Just a little over the head of his receiver. Pass intended. Thomas Tranner. Just couldn't get past the defensive player. He needed that burst of speed to catch it. Didn't have it. Gates again on the punt. John Gates on the punt for the Greyhounds. Kill point the Grange deep for assumption. Good punt, Kilfoy gonna get the returns out to the, the 30. Grange. 
to the 35, if he makes it to, to the, the 40. Side. Cuts in field all the way to the 38. Nice return by Kilfoy. Kilfoy is an exciting player. Every time he gets the ball, he's going to make something happen. And he's showing that here in the first half against Burlington. Return of 34 yards, first and 10 nights. I misspoke. I said LaGrange. I meant Kilfoy. Yeah, Kilfoy is a nice return. Very nice return. He's exciting. Yeah, every time he touches the ball, he's going to do something with it. Ball's already at the 39. Excellent field position again for Assumption. See if they can't get that offense started back up. They have four touchdowns on their first four possessions. Slow down on the last one. Mom on the carry. Picks up nice yards. He's going to be real close to another Assumption first down. Zach, Mom is your ball carrier. Once again, I'd like to mention our sponsors, Jeff's Car Corner, 1705 West 4th Street, Davenport. Used cars, credit pre-approval, internet specials. The Hair Hut, 118 West Franklin Street, Elder Iowa. Salon and Barber Services, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Six twenty-seven to go on the clock. Some just got a second and one ball spotted at the 30. Burlington called their last time out of the first half. Mom on the carry picks up another first down for Assumption. Mom the ball carrier. Derek Kilmoy hit him first. Gain of five and a first down. Six fifteen to go. Assumption with three running backs there in the backfield. Legal procedure against the procedure night. penalty against Assumption. Assumption running primarily out of the shotgun. Well, they score here between now and halftime. You know what that means. You run a clock, second half. Mm -hmm. Fulton, Kilfoy in motion. Kilfoy going to get it. Picks up, the ball picks up four. Cody Fluter on the stop. Second down at 12. Second down and a 12 yards to go, 5.20 to go in the second. Let's see if Assumption doesn't put the ball up in the air. Kind of lulling that Burlington uh, defense to sleep here with the run game. Ball's loose. Burlington's going to come Burlington away with it. Came up with it. Burlington has it. That's Assumption's first turnover of the first half. 5.06 to go in the second. I wonder if they changed centers because the last couple snaps have been low. This whole quarter, Assumption's had some problems on offense. Started out real strong with 28 points in the first half, or first quarter. Haven't really done much of anything here in the second quarter of play. So Burlington gets another shot at trying to score some points. Ball's at their own 32, 5.06 to go. Hartsock oh, hands off to his man. Field. Nice defense there from Burlington. He keeps going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he gets away, but they, he still loses yardage. Chance Carmen trying to make something happen there behind the back. In the backfield there, he <clears throat> bounced off the first couple tacklers, went backwards and lost a few more. And ended up losing right around five yards on that carry. Four thirty to go, second quarter. 
I got drawn off by the Assumption defenders. It'll be a false start. Another penalty against Burlington. That's just something Burlington can't afford to have. Just penalties like that when you're trying to trying to start a drive. Yeah, Burlington's having a real hard time tonight. A real hard time getting the offense going. So now it leaves it to their passing game. Second 19 balls at their own 23. Keep going backwards here on this possession. 4.15 to go. Assumption does have three timeouts. They might be able to make something happen here. Willie's on the re reception. Nice open field tackle by Kilfoy. Kilfoy on the stop. Picks up about seven, but nice open field tackle there by Kilfoy. It'll be a third and 12, 3.40 to go. I guess they were hoping he would make the catch and add some yardage, but assumption defense was right there. Yeah, Burlington hasn't had too many uh, long plays. Just that one run by Carmen. Goes deep, finds his man Carmen. Gonna pick up a first down and then some. Pass complete to Chance Carmen. Nice pass and catch from Hartsock to Carmen. Picks up 18 yards and a first down. First down, Burlington. Nice pass right over the middle. Well, Burlington can get a touchdown here. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. They can get themselves into it. Trying to get some momentum going into the second half here. Down now 28 nothing. Hartsock hands off to the first man through. Nothing doing. Substance just completely stopped their running game. They want him to pass. Seabold the ball carrier. Right down by Talbot and Carlin. Second 11 balls of their own 47. Two and a half minutes to go. Hartsock hands off. Assumption, real nice defense. Nice play in the open field oh. by Big Nick loss. Shebler. Grabbing the ball carrier. Nick Shebler on the stop. Shebler on the stop. Loss of about seven yards there on the net around. Loss of 10 on the play. Boy, they're almost back where they started. Been a real tough night so far for Burlington. <clears throat> Third and 20 balls, they're on 38, 220 to go. Hartsock looks to pass. Finds Kilfoy on interception, and he's, he's gone for go. six. He's gone. Going to get his third touchdown of the night. Big return from Timmy Kilfoy. Tim Kilfoy. Touchdown for Assumption, and another Jersey Grill touchdown. Wow. He's explosive. He gets the ball. He's gone. It's like that. 50-yard interception was earned, 34 to nothing. I was going to say the second quarter has been almost played at a different speed. Assumption bolted out to that 28-0 lead. Second quarter, not much has happened except for that interception return for a touchdown. And that's what happens when you have to pass. Yeah, and Kilfoy's waiting on it. He's going to—he's reading those quarterbacks' eyes. Notice every time that Burlington passes the ball, he comes up with a tackle, first man on the play. That time he's the first man on the interception. Comes away with the interception, gets the touchdown. Clemens on for the extra point. It's up. And it's good. 2-11 to go. Sumption has that lead. 35 to nothing. Have Christian come up. 2-11 to go in the first half. Sumption all over. 
Road team Burlington, 35 to nothing so far has been the Tim Kilfoy show. He's got three touchdowns, two on receptions, and one on that 53-yard interception return. Well, if we had to pick an MVP for the game right now, I think we know who it would be. <laughs> Might be Tim Kilfoy, and, and we're real, real early into the season, but Tim Kilfoy is probably the best player I've seen so far in the MAC conference. Everything they've wrote about him in the newspapers is true. Yeah, he's 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 been the best player I've seen so far in early season. I haven't seen Bentner yet, but Tim Kilfoy is an amazing athlete for Danport Assumption. Two or four to go. We'll see if Assumption. Can't get some more points on the board here in the first half. Yeah, some, think, uh, you think they just try to run it, or you think they'll dare put it in the air again? Well, you don't really want to give up. I mean, it is 35 nothing, but you got to work on something for for next week. Again, Assumption's up 35 0 next week. They're going to get their first true test of the season hosting Bettendorf. That's that should be a great game. That should be a great game. They're not going to run on that Assumption defensive line. No. Sea ball the ball carrier. Matt Carlin on the stop. Loss of two on the play. That game next week, uh, Bettendorf and Assumption, probably going to be pretty similar to the two games we've seen from uh, PV the first two weeks of the season. Oh, absolutely. That should be down to the wire. Should be That's real competitive. Both games down to the wire. One in overtime, one in the last two minutes. 1.20 to go. Burlington with a second and 13 at their own 27. Hard sock in the shotgun. Drafts back to pass. That one's tipped. Oh, Nearly intercepted. Oh. Incomplete. Alex Mathis almost had an interception. Uh, you're real close to the force the turnover there. Assumption has scored so so much. We really don't know if they really have a field goal kicker. Well, Clemens looked pretty good so far on the extra points. He's five for five. I'll admit, pretty good distance. I know it was just extra points, but he looks pretty good so far with the extra point game. And actually, he's got a pretty good leg. He's kicked in the end zone a few times on them touchdowns. 1-12 to go. Going to be third and 13. Hartsock drops back to pass. Goes deep. It's going to be intercepted. Oh, he caught it. Caught by Chance Carmen. Reception made. Chance Carmen. I thought Gervas was going to just take, get in front of him and take it. I, it, actually, that pass was just thrown in the middle of three or four defenders there from Assumption. and The only guy from Burlington came away with the ball and with 106. Burlington's got the ball on the Assumption side of the field. They don't have any time out, with, but with the clock stopping on first downs, they've got plenty of time to get some points here. Hand off up the middle. Nice, nice yardage. Straight arm. Picks up nine on the stiff arm. Kilfoy. Who made the tackle? Kilfoy. <laughs> he's everywhere. Your dad says he's going to be selling popcorn at halftime. <laughs> Less than 30 seconds to go. Drops back to pass. Finds it <laughs> off the hands of Willies. Pass intended for Willies incomplete. Third one. 25 seconds to go at the 39 yard line of Assumption. Twenty-five seconds to go. Third and a third and three at the thirty-nine. I don't know how they lost two yards. They picked up nine yards on that first down carry. Hard sock drops back to pass. Goes deep to Willie's. It's caught, but out of, out of bounds. Burlington really probably going to go for it. Don't have much to lose. Down thirty-five, nothing. 
18 seconds left, fourth down, go for it. Yeah, Sumter's putting on a pretty good show here in the first half. I think Matt Conference might have a few teams make good long stretch runs in the tournament. Could be pretty exciting come tournament time for the Matt Conference. Well, as of right now, I, you know, it looks like they have a lot of strong teams that could make a good playoff run. Hartsock drops back to pass, goes deep. He's got a man. It's intercepted by Kilfoy, and he's got a lot of green in front of him. He's going to go. He's at the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He is going to get in for six again. Timmy wow. Kilfoy. Touchdown. Assumption. Tim Kilfoy on the interception, 77 yard score. Tim Kilfoy is unbelievable. That's his fourth touchdown of the first half, two interception returns. 41 to nothing. Clements on for the extra point. Wow. Kilfoy has had a night that most people would love to have in a season. Wow. 41 to nothing. Gonna be a running clock in the second half. Clements again off for the extra point. Snaps off, holds down. Again, the kick is good. 42 to nothing with two seconds to go in the first half. Kilfoy with his fourth touchdown of the night. Puts assumption up now 42 to nothing. He's had a real, real big first half. He had that uh, return that started the game off for Assumption ever since then. He's just been in complete domination of the ball game. Squib kick. <laughs> and thankfully, that's the end of the first half for Burlington. But after one half of play, it's been all Tim Kilfoy. He's got four touchdowns, two from uh, interceptions. He's also got a fumble recovery. Nice kick return on the only kickoff that Burlington had. And he's got two Pass catches for touch. So after one half a play, scores Assumption Knights 42 and the Burlington Greyhound 0. Okay. okay, we're here to start the second half. Assumption has a 42 to 0 lead over Burlington. And we're going to have a running clock. Kickoff from Clements. <laughs> Nothing going the way of Burlington. That one rolls into the end zone. Burlington is just an example of Murphy's Law. Total if anything yards. can go wrong, it will go wrong. Yards. Burlington with he had a chance to run it back, and it just took a silly bounce and went in the end zone. Touchdowns for the night. That was a good hassle for uh, Sumption. They played real tough. We're up 28 nothing after the first quarter, 42 nothing after the after the half. Uh, been a lot of Tim Kilfoy. He's been all over the field on offense and defense. He's got four touchdowns so far. He's actually scored the last three touchdowns for Assumption. Whoa! I thought it, I thought it was going to be intercepted. They had three people there. Assumption did. Every time they throw, they're throwing it in triple coverage. Joe Bush on the stop for the Knights. Want to get some of the sponsors? Yeah, we got. Uh, Precision Air, 2250 East Leclerc Road, Elridge, Iowa. And we have Valen with Travis Rolfs as the sponsor. I believe Travis is going to help me during basketball season. 11.20 to go. Hands off to Manning. No, she's a Chase Carmen. Chance Carmen picks up a first down for Burlington. Actually, Burlington Assumption had the same amount of first downs, six in the first half. They actually just took the lead in total first downs in the game, but Assumption has just been scoring on long, long pass plays and interceptions. They don't really need to pound the clock. They've been pretty good offensively without having to put together any long drives. Well, you know, we've seen we've seen a couple blowouts the last couple of weeks, but what we really like. The, is that we have not seen a team quit. Now, if you've not seen a team give up, they're still putting forth a strong effort. Offside. I mean, offside, offside against Assumption. It's a six penalty against Assumption. So they're going to have something to work on in the 
come third game of the season. On the defense. I don't know if it's true or not, but you said you went down to go get popcorn and Tim Kilfoy was serving popcorn? Believe it or not, I think he was. He does everything. <laughs> Hartsock hands off, first man through. He's going to pick up about three and a half yards. He's going to be close to a... Seabold the ball carrier. Opportunity for the first down for Burlington. Seabold on the carry. Uh, let's go over the coaches again for assumption. Head coach Wade King, assistant coaches Mark Kazmarek, Brian Petrubeck, Tim O'Neill, Zach Kazmarek, Jeff Shebler, and especially a big thank you to Wade King for letting us do this game and bring it to you. That is because Wade King is the football coach and athletic director. And athletic director. Double duty, Hartsock. He, he's, go open. he's open. Well, he's got some room. He might get six. Assumptions on the board. Touchdown, Scores from 58 yards out. 9-18 to go in the third quarter. Yards. Burlington's on the board. Now, he floated that just enough so the receiver could get under that. That was an excellent pass. How many yards was that, Brian? 58-yard touchdown, pass and catch. Off the hand of uh, Hartsock, found his number one receiver, Willies. Scores from 58 yards out, 9.14 to go. Snaps off, holds down, and the kick is going to be good. 9.14 to go. Assumption 42, Burlington 7. Nine fourteen to go. Some up now forty two seven. Gage Pender is your kicker for Burlington. Kicks it short, keeping away from Kilfoy. Nice return from Assumption, gets out to the 34 yard line. John LaGrange on the return for the Knights. LaGrange on the return. Now the clock's really going to get started to run, and now might be a real quick second half. We're in her nine minutes to go. First and 10 at the 34. From the 34. Can't imagine that Coach King's crew would try to run up the score against Burlington. Well, but the Grange and uh, Kilfoy are still in. Ball's loose. Fumble. Fumble on the play. Assumption's going to fall on it. Recovered by the Knights. Just about a yard, two yards. The second and 12. Nice run. Zach Bump's your ball carrier. Zach Bump picks up about six yards. Going to be about a third and six. I think every game in the MAC tonight probably has this kind of score. Score for the four MAC games going on tonight: 147 to six at half. There's a big difference in, in uh, quality of teams from the top four or five to the bottom four. Fulton looks the pass, Burn takes off the middle, got some room. Inside the 40, all the way to the 38. Nice run by Derek Fulton. Picks up another assumption night first down. Gain of 23 on the play. It's a big run by Fulton. I think maybe he'll give his uh, starters one more series and then that'll be it. 
Have you noticed on the sidelines, Assumption probably doesn't have too many guys more than 40 on that on that squad there. So it's with the size of their team, they really have to keep playing a lot of their starters. Assumption being the private school from the MAC Conference. Mom oh. caught in the backfield, loses a few. They don't have the numbers of a Bettendorf or a Pleasant Valley, so they're gonna have to play still a lot of their starters here into this late into the second half, even up by five touchdowns. 43, Zach Mum was on the carry. Second and about 13. Ball is gonna be thrown 41. Clement speeds off the top side of the screen. Tim Kilfoy in the slot. Shotgun formation. Mom in motion. He's gonna be the ball carrier. Taken down. Mom the ball carrier. After a one yard pickup, gonna be a third and long for Assumption. Chance Carbon on the stop. Well, you know, throughout the season until the leaders, the upper level meet head to head, there are just going to be games like this. It just seems there's the the haves and the have nots here in the back. And it seems to be about pretty even this year, five, five and five. Fulton looks to take off again. Oh, ball, ball balls ball. loose. Burlington, Burlington covers. No, they don't, not yet. They are going to come away with it. Fumble on the play. Covered by Burlington. Recovered by Mike. Fulton tried to take off with it, fumbled it. Short of the first down, 440 to go. Clock running again. Burlington is going to take over at their own 35. Hartsock again, shotgun formation. Burlington probably going to put it in the air. No. <laughs> Matt Siebold on the die, picks up about three yards. Well, it's good to see that Burlington is still making an effort out there. They've scored and I think they like nothing better than the score again. Going to be a timeout for Assumption. 350 to go in the third ahead, 42 to 7. Forty-two seven is the score, 350 to go in the third. Burlington with a second and eight. Shotgun formation. Hard side drops back to pass. Finds his man in the flat, gonna pick up the first and then some. Manning on the reception. The moment Manning on the reception. Another nice play by Burlington. We're moving the chains. Gain of 12 and a first down. It's been a pretty good drive so far for uh, Burlington. Where was that in the first Yeah, half? it's almost a little too, too late, but. Hartsock. Dive play, nothing doing. Siebold, the ball carrier. Siebold on the carry. Hit by the middle of the line of the Knights. Assumption defense all over him there on that dive play. Second and 13 ball is at their own 46. Gonna be a long trip home for Burlington. Oh. That one falls incomplete. Intended for Manning incomplete. Gonna be third and 13 at their own 46. Manning the intended receiver. Bring up third and 13. Get assumption next week's gonna get a chance to take on Bettendorf. That's going to be actually both squads' first real true test of the season. Both of them kind of started off with a couple cupcakes to start the year 2-0. and 
Assumption 2 0 Bendorf. Should be a great game. Looking forward to it. Hardstock drops back to pass. Little screenplay finds Siebold. He's at the 45, gonna pick up another first and then some. Kilfoy takes him down again on the tackle, open field. Nice play by Kilfoy. But not before Burlington can pick up another first down. That was a touchdown saver. Yeah, Kilfoy came up with him. Zach Baum into the game defensively for Assumption. Number 17, Alex Smart, this comes out limping. Chance Carmen on the reception. Nick she Shebler on the tackle. Chance Carmen, run down by Nick Shebler. Gonna go under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Knights all over the Greyhounds, 42 to seven. Got ahead in the first quarter, 28 nothing, 42-0 at the half. Burlington's come up with a score and they're driving again here in the third quarter. Chance Carmen on the end around. Inside the 30, gonna fall forward to about the 27. Carmen, the ball Picks up five yards. Anderson and Kilfoy on the stop. Less than 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Looks like with less than 10 seconds, Burnington might be waiting until the fourth. After three quarters of the books, the score is going to be now Sumption Knights 42 and Burlington 7. Fourth quarter, about to get underway. Third and about five yards for Burlington. Hartsock under center. Got his favorite receiver, Willie's top side of the screen. Offside. Gonna be a false start by Burlington. I think that by. There's gonna be an encroachment on Assumption. Surprised me that uh, number one receiver up there, Willie's, started moving before some, any player from Assumption did, but the play was penalty against Danport Assumption. Another first down. First down, Burlington. Hartsock again under center. Willie's top side of the screen, favorite receiver. Pitches it to Chance Carmen. Breaks a couple tackles. Falls forward to about the 15 yard line. Carmen the ball carrier. Bradley Grothis on the stop for the Knights. Second three, balls of the 15, 11.30 to go. See if Assumption's defense can't stand strong here in the red zone. Hard shot goes to Willies. That is intercepted, excellent play. Excellent play. Intercepted. By Nick Shebler. That's Burlington's fifth turnover the night. Shebler went up, caught it one-handed, came away with the pick. That was a nice play by Nick Shebler. Good stop by the Assumption defense. And that will keep the clock running. <laughs> Score is now 42 to seven. Ever since Assumption got ahead 28 nothing in that first quarter, the Assumption offense has actually kind of sputtered. They had, that two, had the two defensive touchdowns by Tim Kilfoy. <laughs> Put that smoke in the background. <laughs> Ten and a half minutes to go. I don't go. think anybody's grilling over there. Bradley Grothis on the dive play. We got a little over 10 minutes. See if Assumption can't 
grind out the rest of the clock. Colin Gould comes in for assumption, number four. 9.50 to go. Second and seven. Mom, the ball Mom again on the carry. Siebel on the tackle. Gonna be about a third and four. Bring up third down and four. Assumption looking to prove to 2-0. Oh. Up by five touchdowns. It's almost assured to get their second one of the season. Mom on the carry. Oh, he, he might saw. be gone. Breaks a tackle. Nearly oh. tries to shake off another. Picks up 31 yards. And another Assumption night first down. Nice hit. run and a touchdown saving tackle. Another touchdown defense. saving tackle. He hit that hole real hard, shook off the first two tacklers. Couldn't get away from the last one. Picks up 30 yards on the run. Now they've got themselves some breathing room. Eight, eight and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. With the clock running, Assumption might end the game with the. Oh. Uh oh, Kilfoy. Picks up big yardage, about 23 yards on the run. I think they're trying. They're just trying to beat the clock up with their with he's, the guys they've got in the backfield. He's still on the ground. Somebody's even trying to run the ball is going to have a chance of scoring. Kilfoy's down. 8:08 to go in the fourth. Assumption 42, Burlington seven. Kilfoy walks off the field on his. And that's a good thing to see. So Kilfoy is out of the ball game. Hopefully it's not anything serious because Assumption sure needs him next week. Minimal yardage on that dive play. Gravas on the dive. Picks up about three yards, less than eight minutes to go now. Doobie Ashby on the tackle. Seven and a half to minutes to go. Fulton gives the ball up to Grothis. Picks up big yards and another assumption night first down. So we're through two weeks in the season. How would you rank, uh, who would you put as the top three teams in the MAC Conference? Well, we haven't seen Bettendorf, but I always say in, until the Kings knocked off, they're number one. So I'd put, right now I'd put uh, Bettendorf number one. Boy, assumption looks tough. I'd have to put them at number two. North Scott number three. Pleasant Valley and Central would be a tie for Ford. So that would be your fourth and fifth. Muscatine, we haven't seen I, them. Uh, we, saw, not, we, we, did see we saw Muscatine first week of the season. They and put they up a lot good. of points. I put Muscatine right there in that PB and Central category, right there in that second three. Your boss on the carry. Yeah, I don't think there's too many arguments there with the top three teams, and the, I think that second three would probably be Muscatine and Muscatine Central PB all right there jumbled together. But again, I'd be really surprised to see a team go undefeated this year in the MAC Conference. I tell you, it's. I think it'll be really hard because I tell you, I, w I was impressed by Pleasant Valley. I was impressed by Central last night. Yeah, it was a real good game. Die play, nothing doing for assumption there. 
The only thing that really hurts Central is I don't think they have, they need to work on their passing game. But as far, because if they can open up a few passes, they have some excellent runners. One for sure. And that's what, and that's probably what puts Bettendorf and uh, and Pleasant Valley and North Scott ahead of the other teams in the conference. Well, I am assumption too. They ba have a very balanced offense. Once you get one dimensional in this conference, you kind of limit yourself with the kind of defense that you play week in and week out. And assumption, again with this pass game, they put two touchdowns up on the board with the passing, two touchdowns on the with rushing, and they've got a balanced attack coming out in this shotgun formation every down. Nice run here on sec third and 14. Gervas on the carry. Gervas on the carry. Picks up about 10 yards. Probably that's four down territory for Assumption. On the stop. And that's what we know that, you know, Bettendorf can run and pass. We know that North Scott can run and pass. Uh, Assumption, run and pass. Central pretty much depends on the run. Uh, Pleasant Valley can run and pass. They have a good good quarterback, some good running. Uh, Muscatine can pass. Yes. Uh, but you have to, you know, you have to be able to do both. If all you can do is one, then that's what the other team will key on and make you do what you don't want to what you don't want to do. Travis takes off with it. Going to be real close to a first down. Probably going to be a little short. Yeah, I think he's going to be short. Ball's going to be turned over to Burlington. We're going to go under four minutes. Well, I got to tell you, Ryan, I am real, really happy that the first two weeks we've probably had the best two games in the area. Yeah, we've been pretty fortunate. Well, anytime. Anytime the top five or six teams in the conference get together, they're going to have a pretty good, pretty good ball game. Quarterback's going to pass. He's going to try to go deep. Nearly intercepted. Shebler nearly comes away with the interception. Had an interception last drive. Pass incomplete. Uh, you know, the... The receiver that was farthest down the field, down by he kind of gave up on his route. He actually just stopped. I think if he would have kept going, uh, I don't know, maybe they, because he was past his defender before he gave up on his route. Breaks free. Siebold picks up big yardage. Another first down for Burlington. I think we have a penalty, maybe. Two flags down. Two guys down for assumption. Injury timeout. Okay, we're going to take a timeout while they tend to the player. We'll be right back. Okay, we have a assumption player coming off the field. He's, he's walking off. We're glad to see that. We're always glad to see that. Um, Gervas was also hurt a little bit, a little banged up, came out. This is number, yeah, I really can't see the number. 29. 29. Try Anderson. Looks like he might be holding his, his elbow. Seabold again, another carry. Could be real close to another Burlington first down. Seabold was the ball carrier for Burlington. Picks up eight yards. Want to get our sponsors one more time? We got 210 to go. Okay, we got Jersey Grill. Welcome to Jersey Grill, where great food, families, and sports come together. 5257 Jersey Ridge Road, Davenport, Iowa. Jeff's Car Corner, 1705 West 4th Street, Davenport, Iowa. Used cars, credit pre approval, internet specials. Less than two minutes to go, second and two. Balls at their own 42 yard line. Chance Carmen on the carry. Gonna be taken now well short of the first. 
That was a good open field tackle. Timeout, Burlington. Timeout, Burlington. 138 to go. Down now, 42 to 7. Preview. 138 to go. Burlington's got a third and one at their own 42. Hart socked the QB, shotgun formation. Willie's the bottom side of the screen, number one receiver. Damone Manning, the attendant receiver there, incomplete. Patrick Smith and Nate Van Pelt Dunham were both there on the defense for assumption. Four down territory for Burlington, fourth and one at their own 42. Quarterback's going to take it. Hartsock going to be. I think going to be the measure. Going to be real close to a first. I think he might be short. They're going to give it to him. Yeah. I didn't even measure. They're just giving it to him. <laughs> first down. That's probably the first break that Burlington's had all night. Yeah, because he clearly wasn't at that. He far. wasn't that far ahead. 44 yard line. First and 10, 30 seconds to go. Running clock, Hartsock looks to get rid of it. Gonna be taken down for a sack. Sean Easler on the tackle. The sack for the Number 85 is in the ball game, Max Owens. 44 is coming out, that's Drake Grenier. Trying to get some of these names in, but the game is just about over. That duck is out of bounds, and that's going to be the last play of the ball game. Assumption bolted out to a 28-0 lead in the first quarter, 42-0 at half. After a couple Timmy Kilfoy interceptions there in that second quarter, Assumption winds up taking this game here, 42-7. Okay, Brian, who's our Jersey Grill Player of the Game? I don't even know if there's really a question. Uh, Tim Kilfoy was obviously the MVP of the game. He uh, had a real solid game. He had two. Two catches for two touchdowns in the first quarter, and also had two uh, interceptions for touchdowns in the second quarter. He ends up with four touchdowns, and not only is the MVP so far uh, in this game, but I would say he's probably the MVP so far in the MAC conference. Had a real strong game tonight, and he looks like he might be a, a head better than just about anybody else in the MAC conference. Real solid player, and I'm definitely really excited to see him play the last seven weeks of the season. Okay, well, take us off and uh, let's go. Again, real nice win for Assumption. They improved to two and zero. And uh, hopefully we'll see him again real soon here.